Hey everybody, Mike Giaconelli here. Welcome to a brand new In The Shop. And I don't know if you can see the sweat on my forehead, but it's hot in the shop today because it's the summertime. And uh, this is a great, challenging, fun, difficult time of the year to go bass fishing. Um, you know, summertime means hotter water temperatures hotter air temperatures, more fishing pressure, more boating pressure. And generally, fish are gonna do one of three things in the summertime. Fish are gonna go deep. They go deep to find cooler water, to find forage, right? They move to the deepest water areas or deeper water areas of the lake. Two, they like to go in super thick, dense cover, mats of vegetation, mats of standing timber or wood, way under docks, or three, last but not least, they like to get in current. And if there's current in a river or a stream or the reservoir gates start opening and they pull water, they love that current. But I wanna give you my favorite summertime lures. I'm gonna give you my favorite summertime lures. And um, you know, I've got a lot but I'm honestly gonna give you my top four picks for baits to throw in the heat of the summer, okay? And here they go, in no particular order. Number one, man, I love these baits. A deep diving crankbait. Deep diving crankbait. A plug, right, a plug. Um, and we talked about fish that go deep in the summertime, right? Deep's a relative term. Um, deep in New Jersey, in South Jersey, 10 feet. Deep in California, maybe 20, 30, 40 feet, right? So deep's a relative term. But fish in the summer will go deep. They'll move out on deep structure, uh, points, deep flats, deep humps. They go out there to get cooler water and oxygen, but most of all, they go out to eat. That's where their food is at. So I love a deep diving crankbait. You know, when I say a deep diving crankbait, because deep is relative, I carry everything from a DT-10, a Rapala DT-10, all the way to this giant one. Look how big this one is. I wanna open this and show this to you. DT-20, look at the size of the bill on that. Um, and I love these crankbaits. Look how big that bill is. In fact, it's got a metal disc in it to help you attain that depth. Um, I love these DT crankbaits because DT stands for dives to, and the corresponding number is how deep this crankbait will go. So 10 foot when you're deep on shallower lakes, a DT 14, a DT 16, 16 feet, or DT20, which I can actually get even deeper than 20 with lighter line. Um, a plug is great, crankbait's great for those deeper fish because you cover a lot of water and it creates a reaction bite, right? Think about it. At DT20, I'm fishing in 18 feet of water. It gets down to 18 foot. It still wants to dive to 20 as it gets on that hump. It's deflecting on the bottom, it looks real. Boom, the fish wanna eat it, okay? Um, love a crankbait in the summer when fish are deep. Quick rule about line, the lighter the line you throw, the deeper the bait will dive. The heavier line you throw, the shallower it will dive. So if you wanna get a lure to its maximum depth, go lighter with fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon sinks, it helps you get the bait deeper. Um, on rod, real quick, when I'm throwing a crankbait in the summer, pick a parabolic rod. I use the Ike series, uh, Delay Series Rods by Abu Garcia. They're composite, they're glass and graphite mixed. Um, it's a great action to help tow that lure far. When the fish eat it, they'll get the whole thing in their mouth and you're gonna land a lot more. Number one summer lure for me, right there. Look at that giant thing, deep diving plug. All right, number two lure for me in the heat of the summer. And the great thing about number two is this lure, we can fish it deep for those deep summertime fish, or we can fish it thick in the thickest slop 
we can find, or we can fish it in current when we're up the river or in a stream, fishing current. And number two is a big jig in the summer. It's hard to beat a big jig in the summer. And I really rely on two jig head styles, and I wanna show you each one for my summertime jig fishing. The first one, and when I'm fishing deep, when I'm fishing a deeper water, especially if it's deep around rock or wood, um, I like a football head style jig. A three quarter ounce, a one ounce football head style jig is so good in that deep water. This happens to be a three quarter ounce, uh, this is called a head banger by Missile Jigs. And because it's summer, and because the water's hot, listen to me now, you ready? You want something with a lot of action on the back of that big jig when you're throwing it deep. This is a really good one. This is called a chigger bug. And it's got, the chigger bug has these little like double tail grub tails. And I usually bite a segment of it off, make it a little more compact. I thread that chigger bug on there and I got a lure, look at that thing, with a lot of nice kick in the back, a lot of nice little curl tail action. Looks like a bluegill, could be a crawfish. I cast it out deep, I grind it along the bottom, I try to feel every little pebble. That headbanger with those real broad shoulders does a really good job of not getting caught on the bottom, of not getting snagged. So a big football head jig for deep water. But what about that thick cover that we talked about? Or what about current? In those situations, I go to the regular jig head style. This is a missile flip out jig. And I generally go to the sizes that dictate what kind of water I'm fishing. I love the 3 8 and half for shallower, thicker cover, pitching around docks, skipping it under the shadows of docks, 3 8 half ounce. When I'm in current up a river or in a creek where there's water moving, 3 8 or half ounce, letting it come back naturally with the current is great. And then that flip out in the big size, which is three quarter ounce, is perfect for punching in the densest mats you can get. So number two, big jig is great because deep water, thick cover current, it works for all of them. Uh, same thing with the trailer, something with action. This is a chigger crawl. This is an Ike's uh, custom color, tackle warehouse color called the bat. I love a big jig in the summertime. Real quick, rod reel line, 7.2, medium heavy. A reel that's got a fast ratio, 8.0 to 1, 9 to 1. And I love fluorocarbon, 15 to 25 pound. I love the 17 and 20 pound, 100% fluorocarbon. All right, on to number three. And it's not summertime fishing without at least one finesse technique, right? One spinning rod technique. And my favorite in the heat of the summer, there's a lot of really good ones, but my favorite has to be, here it goes. You know it, a drop shot, a drop shot. And I love the drop shot because like the jig, I can fish it deep, mid-depth. I can fish it in current. Oh my gosh, a drop shot is so good in current. Uh, where there's water running, water moving. It's probably the least effective in heavy cover, but deep and current, it's a great lure. That weight maintains bottom contact. It keeps the bait off the bottom. Um, just a great bait fish imitator. And when the fishing's tough in the summer, right? When they're not hitting that crankbait out of a reaction or you throw that big jig and they won't bite it, a lot of times scaling down is a good method. There's a lot of baits you can fish on this drop shot. A finesse worm, uh, you know, a, a little four inch stick bait. But one of my favorite summertime lures is right here. It's a Berkeley Powerbait water bug. Comes in a four and a three inch. One of the great things about a water bug, you ready for this? When that weight's on the bottom, 
A lot of regular soft plastics, because they're heavy, they compress down. That lure ends up on the bottom. A water bug by Berkeley Powerbait floats. So that weight will be on the bottom. It can float up to a one-aught hook. This happens to be a number one VMC drop shot hook, but it'll float it and it'll stay off the bottom. That positioning for summertime bass, whether you're deeper in current, is key. When fishing's tough in the summer, my choice is a drop shot. All right, that was number three. And last but not least, and I had to throw this one in here, because not all my fishing in the summer is deep or in current. Some of it is in the shallowest, nastiest, sloppy, cover-filled water you can find. I'm talking about lily pads, matted grass, duckweed, brush, skipping under docks where no lure has ever been. I want, in the heat of the summer, I always want a frog tied on. Um, I generally carry two different body styles. I carry a walking or pushing style frog, and I use that a lot for that thickest cover or when I'm trying to cover a lot of water. And I also carry a popping style frog with a cupped mouth. Look at the cup mouth on that popping frog. And I like that for more isolated cover, or if I'm skipping under docks, I can, I can leave it under there a lot longer than a walking style frog. So a walking style frog, a popping style frog, but specifically for staying shallow in the summer. And remember, in the heat of the summer, not every fish leaves the shallow water. Some stay, especially if there's thick cover and you can't beat a frog. Um, rod and reel, I like to fish it on a 7.4 medium heavy rod. This is a 7.4 medium heavy Abu Garcia Ike series. I like to fish it on a fast gear ratio reel, um, eight zero to one or higher. And last but not least, don't look at this because this is fluorocarbon. I fish that frog on straight braid. 50 pound uh, Berkeley X9 is a tremendous line for fishing frogs. You want it on braid because when they hit in that heavy cover, they hit under that dock, you want to get them out, positive hookup, no stretch, you're gonna land a lot more of those fish. All right, so frog, topwater frog for number four. Um, once again, summertime, a lot of other techniques that work, but there's my top baits for hot summertime fishing. I hope you enjoyed this episode of In the Shop. If you did, do me a favor, pause for a second, hit that subscribe button right there. If you do that, we're gonna send you new ones, not once a month, but every single week. If you're already subscribed to Mike Iconelli Fishing on YouTube, do me a favor, tell your fishing partner, tell your fishing friend about my channel. Have them subscribe, because we're gonna teach them a lot of good stuff. Uh, good luck, good fishing. Even though it's hot in the summer, try one of those four. I guarantee you're gonna catch some bass. Bye.